My mum is called Vera. My mum was my carer and my brother's carer because my brother's disabled as well. She used to make sure that I'm safe. She used to help me to get dressed and do biggie stuff in my personal care. But in 2022, she was unwell because she got dementia and she kept ringing us up to ask us what time it was. And one morning, it was two o'clock and we had to cope with all that. And she had throat cancer. She was unwell and in a care home and I went to see her through COVID times and I could see her through the window but I couldn't touch her if you know what I mean. She was in the hospital for a bit. I saw the consultant who was looking after her and he just said she got four to six weeks to live. She went home from hospital and then on the Sunday, Christmas Day, they phoned to say that she passed away and I had to go see her on the Sunday afternoon. She was just laid there and I says, is she still alive? And he said, no, she's died. I didn't know what was happening because her face looked total yellow. That's what I couldn't understand. I knew she was poorly. I wasn't expecting it because the consultant said that she got four to six weeks to live. It happened so quick though. I wasn't expecting, if you know what I mean. I'd probably uh, I said, oh, it's her time to go now. But I didn't quite understand what was happening. I could have done with a better support before she died. Why didn't they take us to a, a special room and just say to us, Oh, my mum's on the verge of going. When I went to the funeral, listening to stories about my mum really helped me. You realise that they've lived a good life. It helps me to talk about happy memories. But to this day, I get really down sometimes. And Christmas, it'll be a year since she's passed away. So I'm not looking forward to that. I'm not too sure whether we're still going to have the Christmas tree. Or... I think I'll be a bit too sad because I just do not come to terms with it yet. I think I'm going to get a Christmas bauble with my mum's name on it. I am going to plant a tree in the memory and I've also got a bench as well. And it's going to have a name on it and when she passed away. I got some photos of my mum as well. And I've put them all on the wall. It helps me to feel close to her.